हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ सुरेखा एंड एम अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ एम एस सी कमिस्ट्री माई टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर इज ऑन नेबर रीअरेंजमेंट नाउ वॉट इज अ नेबर रीअरेंजमेंट द प्रेपरेशन ऑफ एल्फा माइनोकिटोन फ्रॉम कीटो ऑक्जाइम टू साइलेट बाई यूजिंग बेस सो बेसिकली इट इज द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एल्फा माइनोकिटोन फ्रॉम कीटो ऑक्जाइम टू साइलेट बाई द एक्शन ऑफ बेस Now let us first discuss the summary of the reaction. In this reaction, we get alpha minoketone from keto oxime tosylate by using these two steps. The first one here is the action of base, and then second is acidic hydrolysis. First, when the base react with keto oxime tosylate, it forms carbonyl intermediate. then this intermediate carbonyl convert into azirene and then this azirene upon acidic hydrolysis give alpha mino ketone now you should have to remember these key points of this reaction the base which may be used is alkoxide or pyridine and aldoxime to silate do not give this reaction now why aldoxime to silate do not give this reaction the answer is here because aldoxymes do not react to form azirenes in the presence of base but form nitriles they want to say that when aldoxime to silate react with base we don't get this azirene we don't get this azirene instead of this we get nitrile so we cannot use aldoxime here for this rearrangement reaction and the reaction is this when a keto oxime to silate react with base and upon acidic hydrolysis give alpha mino ketone it is called alpha mino ketone because we have mino group on alpha position and we all know that what is the starting material of the reaction is here it is keto oxime to silate so keto oxime to silate is a starting material now how to prepare a keto oxime to silate for this reaction to be start here we need two reagent to form keto oxime to silate first one is ketone and second one is hydroxyamine when ketone and hydroxyamine react together here the removal of water occurs means here the dehydration occurs and we get keto oxime but a requirement is keto oxime to silate then how to convert this keto oxime into keto oxime to silate first of all we have to learned about what is a tosylate so it is here tosylate para toluene sulfonyl chloride is called tosylate this group is para toluene sulfonyl chloride it is also represented as tscl it is a good living group now how to convert this keto oxime into keto oxime tosylate we are using tosylate group here and keto oxime will react when this tosylate group we will get keto oxime tosylate when this keto oxime react with tscl para toluene sulfonyl chloride here the removal of hydrochloric acid occurs and this oxygen will be bonded to this sulfur group here because the chlorine is now removed from here so we can only write to it as ts instead of writing this whole molecule here we can write its short form ts so we get this which is called keto oxime to silate which is our starting material of the reaction now let us discuss the mechanism of the reaction how the reaction proceeds now the mechanism is here as we know that Uh, these are the two steps which are followed by the keto oxime to silate to convert into alpha mino ketone 
first of all keto xanthocyanate react with the base and we all know that what is the action of base base abstract the acidic hydrogen and now we know that it is a acidic hydrogen it will be abstracted by base and why this hydrogen is acidic hydrogen from where we know because this nitrogen is electronegative it will attract the electrons from itself from carbon to itself and it will become electron deficient so it will require uh, attract the electron from here and now this hydrogen will become the acidic hydrogen so it can be abstracted by base so base will abstract this hydrogen from here so this carbon will require the negative charge here so we get carbon ion intermediate now these electron will attack on the nitrogen and we know that it is a good leaving group so it leaves from here when this attack on the nitrogen we get a three membered heterocyclic ring which is called azirene now what is the second step of the reaction after the uh, action of base the second one is acidic hydrolysis now upon the acidic hydrolysis what we get first of all this proton will abstract the electron of nitrogen so it will be attacked on this attack on nitrogen so we get when it uh, uh, accept the electron of nitrogen this proton the nitrogen get positive charge when this get positive charge because it's electronegative atom it cannot acquire a positive charge so these electron will be accepted by the nitrogen and carbon become electron deficient the positive charge will come here so we get this now this carbon will accept the electron from this oxygen atom and this oxygen will require the positive charge as i i have already told to you that oxygen is old uh, nitrogen is as uh, nitrogen is electronegative it cannot uh, uh, bear positive charge like that oxygen is also very electronegative it cannot bear a positive charge so to get relief from this positive charge it will accept the electron of this oxygen hydrogen bond so proton will be removed from here and we get this product and now upon totemization what we get the totemization of this product will be occur this electro these electron shifts here it becomes c double bond o and now count the bonds of the this carbon atom it will become 1 2 3 4 and 5 we know that carbon has only four bonds so this bond will break from here nitrogen will get negative charge these electron when shifts here it will become a h positive and this hydrogen will abstract the electron here it will become nh2 we get this product which is a alpha amino ketoxime which is our final product now we have a interesting factor about this reaction some scientist has suggested that here it is known only the carbon ion intermediate it is uh, which is form here is some another intermediate which is also form it is nitrene so along with the carbon ion intermediate the nitrene intermediate is also form so let us discuss how nitrene form and wh whether it will react the reaction or not formation of nitrene intermediate along with carbon ion intermediate we have dis already discussed about these steps the uh, base will abstract the proton from here because it is a acidic hydrogen so we get a carbon ion now this carbon ion can rearrange into nitrene here the these negative charge shifts here we get a double bond here these electron shifts on the nitrogen and as we know that it's a good leaving group so it's leaves from here we get this what is this this is a nitrene 
it is another intermediate which is suggested by the scientists then what will happen further these electron shifts here and the lone pair on the nitrogen will shift here what we get it will form a c bond n and c double bond n and what it is it is a three membered heterocyclic ring which is azirene so what we get from here that whether the intermediate is carbenyl or nitrine we we get azirene from both the intermediates so whether the intermediate is nitrine or carbenyl it will not affect the reaction because the product formed from both the intermediate is same which is azirene and azirene upon acidic hydrolysis we will get alpha mino ketone which is our final product so these points are written here from both the intermediates carbenyl and nitrine further product formation is same which is azirene after the formation of azirene we get we will get alpha mino ketoxime from both the intermediates as the further steps followed are same now let us discuss about the stereochemistry of the reaction this rearrangement do not depend upon the stereochemistry either using syn or anti ketoxime to silate here we have ketoxime to silate and we have to decide which is syn and which is anti now how to decide this first of all cut this c double bond n into two halves now you have to give the priority to the groups present around the c double bond n so first of all look uh, look the above portion as we know that the substituent which is bigger one it is given the first priority so here write one and the group which is smaller one that is given the second priority now look at the below section the lone pair is always given the second priority and the group other than lone pair present on the same side is given the first priority now look on the left uh, uh, left or right side of the half section if the priority order is same then it is a syn ketoxime to silate and if the priority order is different then it is anti ketoxime to silate as we see here that this priority order is different so it is a anti ketoxime to silate here we can see that the above section is same so we can write here one here two and the lone pair is come on this side so it is two it is one now look on the right hand side we get the priority order is same so it is a syn ketoxime to silate and after following these two steps of neighbor rearrangement which are, which, which are the action of base then the acidic hydrolysis we get the same product from both the ketoxime to silate whether it is syn or syn uh, syn or anti ketoxime to silate we get the same product so it do not depend upon the stereochemistry of the reaction thank you